Here are some of my favorite examples I have seen so far, using the new GPT-40, the new flagship model that can reason across audio, vision, and text in real time. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food, and then pop back up. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. That's a good dog right there, leading the way into the taxi. Safe travels. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what it is as well. OpenAI invited myself and my son Imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. And so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. All right, make sure I can see our screen. Actually, I'm very focused on improving the intelligence of these models. And son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Karm's correct. Yeah. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember really, I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find mm. which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7 
this side BC is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would we, would the answer be 7 over 25? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals 7 over 25. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.